live. Oh, hey, sorry, I didn't see you there. <laughs> come on in, come on in. Sorry, I was just um, checking myself for uh, ticks. Anyway, come on in, close the tent behind you. The West Niles are really bad in these here parts. As you enter, raise your hand and repeat after me. Everyone who enters this tent needs to say the Gay Scout Oath. I'm dead serious. Raise your hand and repeat after me. On my honor, I will do my best to do my duty to God and my country and to obey the Scout Law. To help other people at all times, to keep myself physically strong, mentally awake, and morally gay. <laughs> Oh, I'm so clever, but anyway, if you're hungry, we have some peanut butter sandwiches in here and a banana. We also have some beans. Um, you better not fucking touch these beans. They're for aesthetic purposes only. We also have a Marlon Brando magazine when the nights are cold and lonely. We can touch ourselves to Marlon Brando. We also have the Boy Scout handbook. Anyway, come on in. <coughs> I am so sorry. I am sick. And you're gonna get sick too if you're sharing this tent with me. I thought I bought a bigger tent. I clearly did not. It's very small, but it's fine. We rough it out here. Anyway, today is a very important day. It is the inaugural meeting of my gay Yay! scouts troop. If gay men are expected to survive this big gay world, we need to learn survival skills, okay? Whether it's about grinder or, you know, hookups or bottoming. There's a lot to learn and a lot of things about being gay can kill you. And I'm not talking about like homophobia. I mean like a big dick could probably kill you. Let's be real. So I'm launching a new series on YouTube entitled, you know, Survival Skills with Jack Meredith. Since it is our first meeting, I wanna have a little fun with you guys and I wanna play a campfire game of Smash or Pass with gay porn stars. I've never done it with gay porn stars before. In all honesty though, I've been on set with porn stars. I've interacted with them on Twitter and stuff like that. I just feel like it's the nature of what, I, well, I mean, it's the nature of not of comedy. Com most YouTubers don't interact with porn stars, but I feel like my videos are a little, you know, and the business opportunities that I get from my YouTube videos are a little, you know. So yeah, maybe there will be tea in this video if you guys suggest a porn star that I actually know in real life. But anyway, yeah, without further ado, let's get right into the Smasher Pass Gay Porn Star Edition, guys. Okay, you guys, I just had a spur of the moment realization. Okay, I want to up the ante really quick. So, instead of just smashing or passing people, I'm going to have a leaderboard of my top three favorite porn stars that you guys recommend. And whoever I decide at the end of this video is number one, I will, I'll, will DM them with, Whatever the hell you guys tell me to DM this person, okay? So comment below with what I should DM them if you want me to say like, Oh, like, hey, I wanna, um, like, kiss your b butthole. I don't know, whatever the hell you guys want me to DM them, comment below, and whichever comment gets the most thumbs up, I will DM that to my number one, okay? So, I don't know, maybe you guys will start off a wonderful romance, maybe they'll be into it. The power is in your hands, my fate is in your hands, so yeah, comment below, and yeah, without further ado, let's get into it, guys! Alrighty, you guys, we are gonna start off with the most requested person, and that is Blake Mitchell. Everyone was like, oh, do Blake Mitchell, Blake Mitchell, Blake Mitchell, like, people were, people are obsessed. And I'll be honest, I've never seen a Blake Mitchell porn. Randomly, we follow each other on Twitter. I don't know where that came from, how that happened. Let me answer the question of Smash or Pass. Okay, I was all prepared to be like, oh yeah, like Smash. Smash Blake Mitchell, okay? He's a handsome guy. However, I went on his YouTube channel and, oh look, hmm, he has a boyfriend. So, <laughs> I'm gonna zip my lips really quick because believe it or not, I still have, you know, like war flashbacks. <laughs> to the time I made a YouTube video hitting on a gay guy who had a boyfriend and everyone sharpened their pitchforks, everyone, you know, loaded their bazookas and they charged my house. So yeah, I will not be hitting on somebody who is in a relationship. So Blake Mitchell, hey, what's up? Shout out to you. I hope you're having a good day. I am going to quit while I'm ahead and I am going to pass. Okay, you guys, next I see... A lot of people are saying Boomer Banks. Okay, Boomer Banks. Ah, uh, Boomer Banks is, uh, that is a man if I've ever seen a man. So I feel like he's a little rugged. I also don't think he bottoms. And I'm not saying that I'm only, I would only be with a guy who bottoms, 
Boomer, though, from what I've been led to believe, I've seen a few porns with him where it's like, oh look, we're deep in the woods. Oh look, we're in a, an abandoned saw mill. It's just a little rugged, like, yeah, and I'm a gentle soul. I really am a gentle soul. Also, I don't have health insurance. And you don't need to yell at me, I'm in the process of getting new health insurance, but I think just like, while I'm not insured, we don't want any accidents, so I feel like it's not wise of me to be like, oh yeah, come on over, Boomer. Okay, you guys, next, I'm seeing people are saying Casey Tanner, some people. Um, okay, wh different strokes to different folks. Let me just say that. My ex loved Casey Tanner, and I would always be like, like, who's a what now? Like, I didn't know he was a porn star, and then my ex explained that he liked his body and all that stuff. So people love that type of body and that type of porn star. I'm not saying I don't like it. I find beauty in every type of body. I would date... Literally any body type. I'm incredibly thin. However, when I like if we're talking about porn stars and what I'm drawn to and what I want to be like smash for, I feel like the body type that I like is super underrepresented in porn. Again, different strokes, different folks. If we all like the same thing, it would be very boring. So, Casey, I would just I would pass on him. Okay, you guys, I am back and I finally found somebody, and his name is, let me know if you know him, Toffer DiMaggio. I might be pronouncing that wrong, but anyway, oh, look at him. Look at him with his dog. He's so, my little sugar plum. I always thought, like, oh, I'm 50% Italian. I'm going to date an Italian man like Topher DiMaggio. It's going to be great. All my life, I swear to God, I was like, oh, molto bene. Like, I went to Venice. I was like, spaghetti. I love the fact that I was Italian. And then I found out that, no, no, you're not Italian, Jack. You're Austrian. I, I found that also I found this out at Denny's by the way and the waitress was like oh hey sugar here's your pancakes and I was like excuse me like do you, does it look like you're gonna fucking eat right now I'm having literally an identity who am I who am I woman I don't know but anyway yeah I love Italian men and also like uh, Toffer Meridu like that's like oh him taking my last name also like Jack DiMaggio oh are you fucking kidding me we're in the mob Jack DiMaggio, don't fucking cross me. I'll throw your fucking, I throw your dead body in a fucking river. I don't give a fuck. Watch the fuck out. Uh, who are the mobsters? Al Pacone, Al Pacino, Al Capone. Is there a mobster named that? I don't know. He's dead. I shouldn't say that. I. Just kidding. Okay, a lot of people are saying Diego Sands. Diego Sands. Is that the person that I think it is? Hold on, let me look him up really quick. Is he Tarzan? Well, I reacted to a porn with Diego Sands where he was Tarzan. Hold on. I love Diego Sands. Okay, Diego Sands is number one. Ugh. What is Diego Sands? Like, what is his ethnicity really quick? Brazilian. Ooh. Yeah, Diego Sands is number one. Oh, Diego, come on. Come on. Come on, Diego, like, why make me, tell me, if, if I message Diego, it's gonna be like, hi, <gasps> should I message him something in Brazilian? Is this weird? I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. Anyway, I just got really excited. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I got excited. Moving on, you guys, people are saying Levi Carter. Levi! Ugh! I made a video a long time ago, like, finding my gay porn star boyfriend, <laughs> where I cheated on the test, by the way, but anyway, I got Levi Carter. It was like a BuzzFeed quiz, and Levi ended up seeing it, and that's why, I don't know if he still follows me on Twitter, I don't know, but we were supposed to actually meet. I think his, like, manager, it was either his manager or whatever studio that he's under, reached out to me in an email, and they were like, oh, Jack, you should come and vlog, you can meet Levi, you can see her on the studio, and I was like, oh, yeah, like, I want to meet Levi, and then they never answered my email, and I was like, oh. Oh, they got my hopes up. But anyway, Levi, I'll be entirely honest. I typically go for very, like I said, tall, lanky guys. Levi's, I think, like 5'5 five, five or something like that. I still think he's handsome. I would definitely still smash him. Also, I'd smash this guy named Wes that I see people suggesting. I just, I, when his beard is short, I don't like beards. Beards have no effect on me. I know that's like a really unpopular, like, gay opinion. Anyway, on that note, we are going to enter into a lightning round. Corey Kane. Oh, uh, Corey! I think he's cute, I like him. I would put him, like, a, a type of guy like him in my, like, top three. Cliff Jensen, again, Cliff Jensen is somebody that I, 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 I have seen Cliff Jensen porn. Um, I reacted to Cliff Jensen porn on this channel. Cliff Jensen seems like, I don't know, I, uh, back in the day I used to, again, love guys like that. Um, I think for right now, though, I don't know, he's not, like, uh, I don't know. I, I don't know how to explain it. Jake Nicola. Jake Nicola has gorgeous eyes. Taylor Rain. 
I would. I like Taylor Rain. Ben Masters is a bop. Who the fuck is this? I have said this again and again. I Asian men are gorgeous. I love Asian men. Ken Ott. Does anyone know who that is? Ken Ott. Holy shit. Where is he even from? He's Filipino from the Philippines. All right. Uh, it was nice knowing you guys. I'm booking a flight to the Philippines. See ya. Seriously though, fuck. Ken Ott. I didn't. I. I. I who is this? Peter Lee? Who? I... Am I gonna buy porn after this video? Maybe! I need a minute here. I need to figure out... I don't know who's my... I don't know. I don't know the ranking. Give me like five minutes and I will figure it out. Okay, you guys, so... I have figured out my top three. For my number one, you guys are gonna comment below what I should message them. Please! Please! Maybe just like a hey, but I know you guys aren't gonna comment hey because that's not gonna be entertaining for you guys But anyway number three in third place we have Drumroll Peter Lee. Peter Lee! In what world? Where did he come from? I didn't know he existed and now I regret every minute that I didn't know he existed Number two we have Ken Ott. Ken Ott! I'm moving to the Philippines. Bye. Expect next week me to be like, hi, I'm moving, leaving, leaving my family behind, not clickbait, like me crying and expect a, t a he doesn't even live in the Philippines. I don't care. Maybe his brothers do. Maybe his gay siblings, cousins, a gay uncle who happens to be my exact age. I don't know. And then last but not least, number one, <laughs> Diego Sands. Ah. Oh. I had to. I had to. I, I had no choice in this matter. I already have everything planned out. So, Diego, all you have to do is answer the message that I send you, and then your life is planned out for you. I know who's going to marry us. I know who our best men are going to be. I know the wedding venue. I have it all planned out. You don't have to do anything. So, just all you got to do is respond to my message. And you guys, when I do send him the message, if he doesn't respond to it, this is going to be me. I'm going to devastate it. Oh, my God. I can't get out. Oh my god, I gotta do that thing for Nickelodeon. Oh my god. I love you for watching that. Anyway, you guys, that's all for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. What should I send? Diego, comment below. Give this video a thumbs up if you like it. What is your favorite porn star? Comment below. Let me know. Follow me on Instagram at jmeridu. My Snapchat is jmeridu as well, and my Twitter is officialjackm. I love you guys so, so much. If you want another video by me, I will link below last week's video. It is a whole story time about me dating the pastor's gay son. And, yeah, I mean, it's not... The happy ending, but yeah, that will be linked below. I'll also link below. I made a whole video. It was like a gay sex ed video on gay conversion therapy. The horrifying history, how they used to like stick ice picks in people's eyes and jab it into their brain to make them not gay. Super weird. It's a creepy history. And yeah, that will be linked below as well. I love you guys so, so much. Thank you for playing this campfire game with me and I will see you guys next time. Bye guys.